Hello everyone and welcome to psychology. I am doing a general video for all of the classes that I'm teaching. Uh, I'm going to be making a lot of these videos. So let's just, I'm, I'm going to work in my developmental psych class just to show you some of the new things that are different with Brightspace. If you are in adolescent or ed psych, things will look very similar. Any questions that you have, please just send me a quick email, drop a note um, in the course discussion, ask a question, raise your hand board. I'm going to show you all of that. Okay, so when you first get in, you'll navigate here. You'll see this information about me. So this is the new learning management system called Brightspace. I'm gonna look at this as a student, so this should be about what you see. This announcement will be typed up here with a link to this video. You'll see that shortly. Um, so like I said, I'll be making many more of these types of videos. We are all still in the process of learning this Brightspace format, uh, myself included. The grade book you will see in particular is still under construction. All of the course materials are up. I've left everything open for you to start navigating in this first week. Your only um, assignment for the first week is to do the icebreaker discussion and to start to navigate the course. So let me show you some of those things. Almost everything you need is here under content. And you'll see the welcome pages, which will have the syllabus, the schedule, how the course is organized, and you just, you can start here, and you'll see these arrows up here will help you navigate through everything. Okay, so just keep going through here. Um, you can always go back to the table of contents, but just start reading through these. Uh, and you'll see it'll bring you, when you're done, you'll get a little check here, and then you move on to course information. So again, please take the time that we have this week um, to start looking around here. This is just general course information. Obviously, the syllabus, this is the textbook information, or the course material information, whatever it is to that particular course that you're in, you'll see something slightly different for um, adolescent and ed psych, of course. So all of these are student supports on campus, and I will also uh, let you know some other specific help for Brightspace. Here we are, the assignments. This is also in the syllabus. This is the full syllabus file with everything you need to know. So please read through the syllabus very carefully. You do not have to print this entirely. If you don't want to, it's 15 pages long. You don't have to. If you do want just the schedule, I've provided that as a separate printout. So I strongly suggest you print these five pages. Um, because if you don't have access to a printer, let me know. I can help you with that. Or just copy these things down and post it so that you know. As you see, this week, 829 till 94, just get to know each other, do the icebreaker discussion, and start looking around. When you do that, if you're comfortable and you want to move on to Module 1 um, in Week 2, which is not due until the 11th of September, um, but feel free to go into week two once you're comfortable navigating Blackboard. So again, please take the time um, to, to do that, to get comfortable in the course navigation. There are some help links here, the SUNY online desk help. You can submit a ticket. The Student Success Center, this is where the success coaches are. We have two success coaches. They are fantastic. Um, they're going to be very busy, so reach out to them if you need. If you need extra assistance or if you need to register with um, um, disability services, please, th this is the link for that, so make sure you do that. Um, a lot of the work in all three of the classes um, will be in the discussion boards, and so here they are here. This is the general raise your hand 
question board. Um, let's see. This is a public space, so you click on the topic, post your question. I don't know where my um, where the syllabus is. I don't know what day the book project is due, and we'll get to that much later. But a general question that you would raise your hand in class to ask, do that here in this public space. Anything private, please do not post it here. Everyone in class can see this. Um, send me an email with any questions that you have. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, so email is really the best way to get in touch with me. Okay, so back to the discussion board. Again, all of the discussions are listed here. So look into these. We'll get to these later. I, I may even close some of these out as we get into the um, into the semester, but I wanted to leave everything open just so you can see what's ahead. But focus here with the icebreaker. I am going to be posting here as well with my own. Um, I'll post a video. Feel free to do that if you'd like. I'd love to see you in a video post. I'd love to see your faces, um, particularly in any of the courses where we don't have a live meet. So um, uh, developmental psych and ed psych, we are not having live meets, um, but feel free to post a video of yourself if you'd like. And also if you need help, I can meet with you um, uh, online or on campus. I am on campus and so that's an option for all of you if you'd like to do that. So you post here um, in your in the icebreaker. Um, let's see. So when you scroll down, you should see start a new thread. Enter your subject. Here's the rubric for grading the discussions. Um, you can subscribe to the threads. You'll get a notice when somebody posts. That's really up to you. Um, if you're getting overwhelmed with messages about that, feel free to um, unsubscribe. All right. Um, so I'm going to move out of that. I'll go back to my student view. So do that icebreaker. Um, if you feel comfortable, I would love to have you um, submit a photo in your profile. Um, I have a few photos of myself uh, on the on the course. Uh, they're not. I, I I did the best I could with some of the sort of selfies I took over the summer. Um, if you you know don't feel comfortable, but just pick a, a photo that kind of represents yourself. That's fine. Um, but it really helps me to see your faces um, or something to help me remember your name with a little bit of context. Um, as you can see, um, I don't love taking photos of myself. Um, and I know not a lot of people do, but um, I think it's just helpful to be able to see a face to associate it with a name. Um, okay, so I'm going to wrap this up. I will, again, make any videos that you need. You'll see lots more videos come up. Um, throughout the course. I do actually have a YouTube page. It's not very exciting. It's all sorts of videos like this. A lot of them are old from Blackboard, but I'm going to be adding more bright space and I can always make a quick video if you need help navigating. That, that seems to be the best way to help. Um, so again, post in the icebreaker, start getting to know the class, go into week one, or I'm sorry, week two, module one, if you feel comfortable. Post a photo and let's all get to know each other. I will do my absolute best to work with you this semester. I know these have been challenging years. Um, so please be patient with everybody, um, yourself included, and reach out if you need anything. And like I said, I am happy to work with you to help you be successful. See you soon.